Well, happy New Year's, my sweeties. How are you doing? This is Candy Girl, and welcome back to my sweet little channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you also very much for being here and rocking with me. So, I do have my first Dollar Tree haul of the new year. Two days worth of stuff, all in this big ass pink bag. Yes, <laughs> big pink bag full of goodies, a lot of it. Halloween related, um, Halloween, Valentine's Day related because I went there looking for stuff, you know, Valentine's stuff. I needed a couple more things for my Valentine's Day tree over there. If y'all see there, I have taken, it looks crooked to me. Yeah, there's a little crooked. I have my little pink hearts on there, my lights and all that good stuff, but I needed a tree topper. <laughs> so I went there to get stuff. I also have um, a white tree with red hearts in my living room, but I needed a tree topper for that as well. So I want to go find some stuff. Before I get into my haul, I just want to thank you all for being here and supporting me, all that good stuff. Happy New Year again. Thumbs up this video. <laughs> Turn your notification bells on and make sure you are subscribed because sometimes people might not know when I'm doing new videos, all that good stuff. So please make sure notification bells are on. And uh, yeah, I do have an upcoming valentine's day of love giveaway challenge coming up i'm going to be doing a video showing you your prizes which you're going to be getting all that good stuff y'all for y'all for those of you who are familiar with my past giveaways my last one was in october my birthday challenge giveaway it was just something simple where you make me a cute atc car themed for the month my birthday october halloween all that good stuff so we're gonna do a day of love thing themed thing right okay so we've done this last year successful we're gonna do it again so i'll be doing a video for that so just get your crafty little fingers ready all right so let me start with this haul because there's a lot of stuff that popular supposedly hard to find little pink uh tree i have found it i found one and not that i really needed it but hey you know i had to jump in on the band one again i had i never had the halloween one i didn't really need it because it's orange and black and i don't really do orange but if they had it all black one, I would have done it. But either way, I do have that tree. So I could probably set this one up as like my Barbie Halloween. Um, I keep saying Halloween. Valentine's Day tree and put it like on one of my other little tables in here. So it's pink. I like how they decorate it here with like the red roses. That's really cool. I also have some red rose, I mean white rose lights. Then I'm either going to put up here on my pole here like I have with... Um, I don't know if you guys can see that too well. Let me hold on one second. Well, I'm sure you can see it now. I I don't know if I made things any better or worse. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, so you see my lights there on my pole there. So I want to try to incorporate my white rose lights, which they're really pretty. And trying to either wrap it around the pole or put it on the tree, something like that. Because hearts and roses are totally valentine's day so once again here's the pink tree there's the only one i know they're a little skimpy and what i normally do with these little valentine's day trees um these little uh, dollar tree trees is i take two of them and i like twist them together so that they're fuller and not so charlie brownish but it is what it is i found one whether i use it or not whatever but i got it <laughs> pink tree you know you gotta have one right okay so that's that um, now I've used this before as a tree topper in my old apartment. I don't know where the hell that thing went. So I had to find them because I've lost a lot of my decorations somehow. I don't know how I lost them in the move, but I, and I do have a storage unit, but yet I still haven't found some of my Christmas decorations. And I think a couple of my Halloween and all my decor, a lot of my decor things are missing. So I bought another one. Good thing I was able to find this. So I'm going to. So, you know, this is to hang on the wall, but I'm going to somehow make this either a tree topper or just hang it right here on my fake window wall right here. I absolutely love this background. It's so cool. So how, see how it looks like it's a real, it's a window, but it's snowy. So even though Christmas is over, it's just a snowy window to signify, you know, winter. So I could still leave it up until, you know, we officially stop snowing. Not that it's snowing yet. So there we go. Glittery. It's made of foam. It's got glitter on it. So that is great for um, your tree or whatever you're going to do. No particular order here because stuff is just packed in the box, in the bag. This, I finally needed to get a new container for my cat's cat food. So I got this container. 
I hope it the lids, you know, this it seems pretty tight. Too bad they didn't have pink or red, but this is the only one. So I got this container. So because the type of container I have is just you, you know, you um twist it and just pour it in. I like something like this better. So you could use this for many things. Uh, but I'm gonna put the cat food in there. And this is 6.75 ounces or 6.75 cups. In other words, 54 ounces. So it's not that big, but it's good size for the cat food or whatever you're going to do with it. Then they have also like a clearance section of stuff that's like 75 cents, maybe a dollar instead of a dollar 25. I got these giant Ziploc bags, which are great. They're sure fresh. Six of them. It was taped back open so i don't know if there's six or whatever it is but either way it was 75 cents and i love giant storage bags these are 2.5 gallon jumbo size so 75 percent not every 75 cents not every dollar tree has that clearance section but this one does then i got these little plates 15 of them you know little snack size plates or whatever um this is cute not that i'm going to use it it's just going to be like a to go with my random just cutesy stuff <laughs> it's a pumice stone it looks like a lollipop it's heart shaped with like little leopard print hearts in it so that's cute you know pumice stone so for your feet your rough skin on your feet whatever and it has the string there but i'm just gonna put this in my basket full of cutesy things because it's pink so you know i had to have it <laughs> okay so that's that um this i'm going to use as a tree topper i believe in my living room for my red tree so that's pretty cool. And this is not like glitter glitter that comes out too much, but it's just a heart pick. This is a nice hard styrofoam. So I'm gonna just kind of stick this in the top to be on my living room Valentine's Day tree. This is really cute. Okay, um, then look at what I found. <laughs> this is so cute. It's the sure head, sure, what am I saying? It's a headband. <laughs> it's a hot pink, super cute headband for valentine's day that is a really cute i love that so i'm just gonna you know that's cute they had red of course and of course i had to get the hot pink so that's cute um batteries i was acting really uh, like not crazy about it but i need a battery who doesn't need double a batteries so i originally picked up the six pack and then as i'm by the counter waiting online then I see they had the eight pack. I'm like, okay, let me get eight. And so the same price, $1.25. And then as I'm moving up closer, then I see they had a 10 pack. So I kept trading them off. And so now I have 10 pack of the batteries. That's really good. Excuse my crappy ass nails. But yeah, so better off to get the 10 pack for $1.25 than get the six pack for $1.25, right? You always need double A batteries. I never seem to have double A's. Always have the stupid triple A's and then you know, because I think we use double A's more with our stuff in the house. Then I needed some paint brushes and I got these. These look heavy duty by Tool Bench, 15 inch and a three inch one. Wait, 15? Why did I say that? No, that's three inch one and a half, one and a half inch one. And these look really good. I normally use the, um, the, the brown, the wooden handle ones, but I wanted something sturdier because I have a, like a house project thingy to do. So I got that, um more ziploc bags i don't know if this was the 75 percent off one i'm not sure but these are the stand and fill ones so this is basically they're wider on the bottom so you can put like a lot of fruit and like what bigger things in there sliders i love the slider ones better and these are seven of them so this is a nice good size and these are hefty there are other ones for sure fit okay so we're back to doing the sort of diet thing, but not necessarily keto. So I'm kind of balancing out having lesser carbs this year since keto is very hard to maintain, although I've done it before. So I'm just kind of like, I'll still eat like some rice or maybe like a small piece of cake or a cookie or something. But if I'm going to snack, I'm going to like ha snack on like not potato chips because I love potato chips and I will eat them to death. I can eat potatoes for, din for dinner, like honestly. So these are the Wisp Parmesan Crisp. I haven't had this flavor before. I've had the cheddar, I believe, and these are good. They're just, but they're really kind of hard because it's pretty much just dry cheese. So that's definitely totally very low carb. But, you know, if you have sensitive teeth, you might not want to try these, but they are good little mini snacks. They're not super hard. They're just 
very crunchy so those are good if you're on a low carb diet that should be two for a dollar but it's not more heart stuff these are the heart picks seven of the little little ones and like i'm glad they have the pink sticks on it so these are great for whatever i mean i like to just stick these around different things in my room i might stick some in my um tree back there but these are just really good to have for decor you know to stick anywhere if you're a pink girl like me um i needed a new what do you call these things scrubby thing i've had this color before it's really pretty it's kind of like a very light red or something or orangey i don't know but with gold in it so that's super pretty love that one and i love this type of ribbon better too the ribbon as opposed to the the, sh the rope string that they normally put on those i like that better um this is for my living room tree so i'm going to i'm going to do something i haven't done before with my valentine's day tree my valentine's day trees i usually just have it like very subtle i usually just like to throw on my my hearts on it and that's it but i'm maybe going to add a little something to it um just some little berries so red berries red heart that's gonna be cute um pens i got some pens y'all know how we love our sparkle pens a pretty a blue one but this has like the little glitter in it and here is like a very light pink like a champagne or pink one so those are nice pretty um one of these things that I've seen people haul, and I just got one because I think this is the only one with pink, this weird pencil holder by Jot. I don't know if you're supposed to, like, are you supposed to lay it down or stand it up? I don't know. I think you're supposed to stand it up. I've, I've even seen a DIY where somebody glued a bunch of them together, and it's kind of, like, slanted, go inwards like that. So on this, I'm sure this will make a really nice project. You could even make something Barbie-related for this. Like, if you're making a little Barbie like house or something like that. I think that would be great to do like a little DIY with that. So this is cute. Who knows what I'll use it for, but I'm sure I will find something to do with it. This I've never seen before. I'm assuming this is a new product. It says Valentine Cotton Candy Party Pack. Three pack, which is really cool. And I think they're like individual flavors inside. So I see pink, like a blue and like a green. So that sounds really cool. It says um, blue raspberry, cotton candy flavor, and watermelon, which is great. <laughs> cotton candy flavor. All right, that's a flavor within itself. Okay, we're good on the time. Um, let's see. Oh, another one of the Parmesan, the, the whisk, little crispy thing. Oh, I got two Parmesan ones. Okay. I thought I only had one, but I got two of them. There's like not a lot in here because I normally have bought these at Stop and Shop, like a kind of a bigger bag, which is a lot more money, but you know, it is what it is uh we have this i thought was super cute cupcake lip balm i don't know cupcake lip balm <laughs> they had different ones i thought it was super cute i don't plan to open this i think it's just cute just to leave in the packaging but it's very cute i don't know is this a flavor what flavor is this it says different one. Oh, strawberry okay i'm just gonna put this in like my little basket somewhere here in my room because i have like a, lots of little cutesy little things laying around uh one of my favorite toilet papers, the two-ply Dollar Tree toilet paper, four-pack. Um, and it doesn't have a name. It's just strong and soft. <laughs> so that's the brand. <laughs> so that's that. I love that as either your main tissue, your backup tissue, whatever it is. It's four rolls for a dollar twenty-five. okay? Speaking of tissues, we have the, the six-pack of the Barbie tissues. They're just white tissues, you know, that there's no design on it. The tissues are not even pink. It's just the packaging is super cute. So, yeah. So, that's good to have in your pocket, in your purse or whatever. This was in the um, clearance section. 75 cents. I don't know why there were 75 cents. It doesn't seem to be open or anything. But it's just some really pretty light baby pink um, forks and spoons. You know, whatever. Like, whatever. It's light pink. <laughs> 75 cents. Why not? It's not open, so that's good to have. This is super cute, and it's so me. It's pink, and it says, I was not made to be subtle. What? <laughs> that is so true. I am anything but subtle. So this is perfect. This is going to look nice right here on my desk somewhere. <laughs> so I'm certainly not subtle, and I'm a pink girl, so this is perfect. It's just a nice long wooden block. 
nice and heavy duty. We've got some more. I'm a very obsessed with like Ziploc bags and stuff of all sizes. <laughs> These are the Surefresh Ziploc bags, 19 of them. These are the slider seals once again. I like to get these in different sizes because I use this for so many things, as a lot of us do, especially for, like, Barbie stuff. Um, I have, like, a whole bunch of Barbie stuff. So, like, separating your Barbie clothes and this and that, whatever it is, and for anything else you need in your life. Those are good to have. Dollar Tree is, like, the best place to get the Ziploc bags and stuff, especially if you need them a lot in your life. Also, if you're like a seller and you sell things and you need to separate things, action figures, things like that, it's good to use um, Ziploc bags of different sizes to protect the items you're selling. Um, these are definitely new to me, and it says new on it, and they feel hard though. <laughs> Were those original salted caramel cream candies? Never heard of this flavor, and it sounds good. So, yeah, just like I was saying, now that I'm sort of altering my diet or if you want to call it a diet you know i could just eat like one of these and i'll be fine as far as dessert as far, it's better to eat like one piece of candy or two pieces of candy as opposed to eating like a slice of cake <laughs> so yeah um del monte they've got del monte and the other name brand they have a lot of name brand foods in dollar tree now which is great del monte harvest french style green beans Dollar twenty-five. These are about four dollars in the regular supermarket, and I've been eating these a lot lately. Even though they're not the greatest, but if you need greens and you have a hard time digesting like harder vegetables, like I love regular string beans, but I have a hard time digesting string beans because they're very fibrous and tough. Have something that's a little softer cooked for you, and this is it. Learn to make it right. Put a lot of garlic powder salt a little butter and there you go <laughs> so there you go and we have a lot more stuff we have these haribo gold bears well they're not bears but you know haribo sweet and sour hearts very cute some are sweet some are sour the very first one that i picked up was very sour and then the darker red one was sweet i think it says here here on the packet so they're good you know but i prefer the sweet as opposed to the sour so once again, at least I know that I, I can limit, I can control the sweets I eat more with like candy bags with have a bunch of individual rather than cakes because I overdo it on cake and cookies, but I don't overdo it when it comes to candy. <laughs> so I should have been doing that a long time ago. Then I found this to be super cute and this was the only one and I think it's slightly broken, but I got it anyway. It's pink, super cute glittery type of um little hearts and see this there's a stick here so there is one heart missing but that's okay at least there's two there and it's a pick pick with a clip so that's great too so i'm going to clip that here on the tree i might either use it as a tree topper or just stick it on the tree somewhere so that's super cute it was the only one so i didn't care that it was partially broken i got another can of the string beans the french style green beans like, i don't know i guess it's french style because they're kind of like stringy long stringy like cut up so yeah as opposed to the whole string bean um i got another one you know what i originally got this um puff and then i found this one to be so much cuter and i thought i was going to put this one back and i ended up with this one so anyway this one is pink with like with a rope thing and it has like these little candy looking things on it so well i got two now that's that almost done then we have these i thought these were super cute they kind of look like pasties <laughs> but they're just like a pack of four little like sequin like heart appliques as it calls it you got red dark pink light pink and like a multicolor one they look like mini pillows or pasties or something so i guess you could do this for any type of art projects and you know you could lay it around put it in your purse make a keychain out of it earrings Whatever you want to do, it's super cute. So, I got that. Um, what in the world? I got more canned stuff in here. <laughs> I must have got... Oh my god, I got another can. Okay, so I got three cans of the green beans. Okay. Yeah, I might as well because I told you one can is like almost $4 in the store. So, why not get that? Then I got a can of cream style corn. This is my boyfriend's. I hate cream style corn. Very gross. 
I don't even really eat corn. I really only like corn in the cob. But that's his can of corn. And last, almost last but not least, we've got the six pack of these little mini Nestle Pure Life waters. Great to have. So I keep like a little bottle in my room when I go to bed. I can take my pills in the morning and I have to run into the kitchen to get. And then last but not least, this super cute um, little like pencil box by Jot. Pink and it's got little glittery things in it if you can see that. It's a cute pencil box. It's not, oh, it's got a really good snap on it. And this could be great for anything. You know, when, you know, I was thinking about using it for my Barbie stuff since it's pink, you know, whatever, to sort things out. I totally got to get more, and I'm sure you could stack it. But yeah, because I have so many Barbie things that need organi organization, and that's good for that. Or whatever the hell else. Good for crafting. You could decoupage it, glue things on it, glitterize it, whatever. Okay. Y'all get the point. And that is it. This big old pink bag, which has been stapled so many times, is finally empty. I love this bag <laughs> because it's tall and it can put a lot of stuff in it. And there's even glitter in the bottom. So, yeah, I have a lot of stuff to put away. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I have glitter all over my pants, too. Wow. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching my Dollar Tree haul. Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up this video. And stay tuned for my Valentine's Day of Love giveaway. Get your crafty fingers going. We're going to be doing some, uh, what do you call it? ATC cards, whatever. Take care. Stay sweet. I'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs>